Exclusive video shows the moments before police arrested a man wanted for sparking a high-speed chase through Foxborough. Now, it all started when police say the man stole a car from a Waltham dealership. WBC's Jordan Jagelinzer explains how it came to a dramatic end. Surveillance video shows the moments before a man running from police went inside the Commercial Street Shell gas station in Foxborough before being arrested at 8.30 on Sunday night. He's seen pacing, looking over his shoulder, heading to the restroom before asking the cashier to use her phone to make a call. I think you're in a, a safe community in a safe place and um, turns out that it's not always the case. This Foxborough resident is without a car today. His Toyota heavily damaged after a police chase began at the Lodge Apartments on Sunday night. Yeah, we came out and um, there, was a, there was a white SUV that had been kind of knocked out of its parking spot that was up in the grass. And then we realized that unfortunately I was parked um, a few spots away and, and my car didn't didn't uh, make out so well. Just before 7 p.m., police located a stolen BMW SUV at the apartment complex. It was then that they saw the suspect, 30 year old Jose Bautista of Rhode Island, get into the vehicle. When police tried to stop him, Bautista tried to get away, nearly hitting a state trooper and damaging four cars in his path. And there was a car going about 60 miles per hour in the parking lot. It was loud, so I got up and I was like, wow, what is that? Tire tracks and debris, all that's left behind. And uh, I could hear the screeches, which were now standing there now. A gun and multiple drugs were found in the stolen vehicle. Police say plastic bags believed to contain fentanyl were found in the path Bautista ran off on. Probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Bautista faces several charges, including stealing that vehicle, possession of a gun, and trafficking fentanyl. His scheduled dangerousness hearing is for this Friday, April 7th. In Foxborough, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News. Jordan, thank you.